Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. I'll let the box speak for itself, because I really, truly believe that this is saying exactly what we're all thinking. It's big. It's bold. It's back. The big New Yorker pizza has returned from Pizza Hut. That's right. They uh, have mentioned this is a fan favorite. There's been a lot of demand for this over the years to uh, bring this pizza back. And finally, finally, it has returned, the Big New Yorker Pizza. It was first introduced in the year 1999, again at Pizza Hut. Here's what it is. It's a 16-inch extra-large pizza. Now, I, I should emphasize, there's no trick here. This isn't called the Big New Yorker Pizza, and then it turns out that this is actually Detroit-style pizza or anything like that. Uh, the name is exactly what you would think, in that it's... New York pizza, style pizza, I should say, from Pizza Hut, and it's their take on it, and well, I presume it's big, since that's what the name implies. And indeed, they say that it is a 16-inch extra-large pizza, thin crust, crispy crust at that. Instead of being cut into eight slices, it is cut into six, as they describe large slices, Again, crispy crust. It has Parmesan oregano seasoning on the pizza. And uh, generally speaking, it comes with pepperoni on it as well. Although, for just a tiny surcharge, you can add and double the amount of pepperoni. But uh, it's supposed to be heavy on the pepperoni to begin with. Available at the price of $13.99. The Big New Yorker Pizza from Pizza Hut. So these sorts of pizzas always seem to be uh, generally well-received. Again, it's just supposed to be a large pizza, thin crust, crispy crust, those large, as they actually describe, oversized slices, heavy on the toppings with a little bit of seasoning, and uh, it's Pizza Hut's take on New York-style pizza. So that's what we have. Here's the box. It comes in its own unique packaging. It certainly sounds good, as I've mentioned before. I like my pizza, and uh, hopefully this will be good, but in today's review, I want to verify its quality, and, you know, as we know, sometimes looks can be deceiving. An item can sound good, it can look good, and then when you try it out, it tastes absolutely dreadful, and you wonder, how could such a thing even happen? And then, you know, there are those instances where, of course, it's the exact opposite, and it looks doesn't look all that promising, but boy, it's a, it's a good item. So anyway, there's the uh, special packaging for it, and uh, you can see the tagline right there. It's big, it's bold, and it is back. The Big New Yorker Pizza, six extra-large slices. And of course, no one out pizzas the hut. Before I get into the rest of the review, just a very quick little promotion. You could see what the pizza looks like while we're at it, but um, just understand in addition to this channel, I also do a radio show and a podcast. And I do the radio show a few times a week, every week. Podcast I try to do at least on a monthly basis. But I do both of these things. It's, you know, these are things that I do again in addition to the channel that you're watching right here. We'll get a closer look at the pizza. You can see it's that thin crust, crispy, big slices. Anyway, I do these additional, mostly audio, forms of uh, content. This is something that I like to do. The podcast, I'll just talk about whatever's on my mind. Radio show, I'll do the same thing, but sometimes I'll talk about some current events and balance it out with some 
listener music requests as well. But I do both of these things in addition. I just want to let everyone know that these are out there. These are things that I do and put a lot of time and effort into. And if you do enjoy the enjoy that sort of content, you want to see or hear more of it, or you want to just keep it going, uh, just be sure to support it. Support what I do, I should say, on Patreon at patreon.com slash the report of the week. You could access exclusive content. You could get everything on demand right then and there. It goes out on the radio, too, if you have an actual radio, but um, you could just get on demand content right there. It just supports everything that I do. It keeps it going, keeps it on the air. You could find more information about it all in the pinned comment or in the description. So. Anyway, I try to give that promotion every so often, you know, let everyone know this stuff exists. But, all right, that out of the way. Hope you're able to get a good look at the slice again. Not too crispy on the bottom, but you can see it's pretty much their thin crust pizza. At least, it's, it's thinner than the hand toss. You can see some of the pepperoni, the cheese, some of the seasoning. It certainly looks like an oily pizza. So, I'm just going to eat it. Also comes with some marinara sauce for the dipping. It's complimentary. Uh, first, I'll just eat it. I'll just eat it as I usually do, which I'm sure is going to. I'm sure your fist is just kind of getting like this right now, and you're 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 turning red with rage. But uh, then I will try to fold the slice and uh, and go from there. But I'll just try it out, see if it's any good, and uh, and that'll be that. So the big New Yorker pizza. From Pizza Hut, going in. Can it be folded? Yeah, it can be. Easily, actually. So I mentioned the foldable aspect. So you can see it indeed can be folded and it retains its structural integrity as well. I think really that's all you really needed to see and make sure of the fact that could this pizza be folded and could it be easily consumed thusly and indeed it can be Not a lot of people know this, but this pizza actually uh, hits home for me in a way. Back when I was in high school, I, I might not look like it, but I was actually on the football team, and my nickname, this is what, this is what my other colleagues on the team would call me. They would call me the Big New Yorker, <laughs> and it just kind of brings back those memories, you know, being out there on the field and... Uh, and those, those are the days, I tell you. All right, and then take a bite of the crust. I think what I'll do real quick, I'll just dip it in the marinara sauce here. I don't think it's really going to... Personally, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, and I'll tell you why in a moment.
Well, I'm pleased to say that it's an enjoyable pizza. Happy to report that it is. Sometimes these items can be real hit or miss, but in this case, I'm happy to say that everything worked out well and uh, there really aren't any issues to report. My biggest concern with this was, uh, well, really two things. Number one, as you could obviously tell, the structural integrity, uh, because I just wasn't sure at first when I was holding up the slice for all of you to see. You could see it was kind of flopping a little bit, and I wasn't sure how well it would hold up if you were to actually fold it. And uh, sometimes you have these pizza slices, I've certainly had a few that are this way, that you try to fold it, and the thing just falls apart. It hasn't the structural integrity to, uh, to really do that. So I wasn't sure how that was going to be, because I know how variable, quality-wise, the fast food pizza can be. Uh, but I am pleased to say that, as you could see, it held together just fine, and despite the size of the slices themselves, it was of no detriment whatsoever in terms of being able to consume it. So it was able to be easily eaten, and it wasn't a mess or any of that. It wasn't impractical. Slices, while they may be on the larger side, posed no difficulty in terms of its consumption. The other thing that I was a little concerned about and again, both of these are pleasant surprises, so I only really have good things to say this time around, uh, is the oiliness of it. Now, I'm sure you could kind of see, and uh, I'll hold up a, another slice real quick. Here we go. That uh, you could see the pizza kind of has this orange hue to it. That's because of all the oil and the greasiness of both the cheese, of course, and the pepperoni thereon. I wasn't sure, is that going to be overkill, right? Is it going to be too much? Because sometimes you could have these pizzas, and uh, you might go into it knowing this isn't going to be the healthiest food in the world, but sometimes you'll have these pizzas that are just dripping with grease and oil, and it just gets, you know, over the top, and it becomes impractical to eat. And if you're trying to watch your health, then it might be something to uh, really focus on. But from a standpoint of just how does it affect the taste, it's totally fine as well. But I will mention, if you are on the uh, health-conscious side, just be aware that this is a very greasy, very oily pizza. And again, that bit of a discoloration in its appearance is uh, strikingly obvious that it is going to be heavy on that side. So I'm just saying... If that's, if that's something that is a priority to you, it's just something to be aware of. All right, now otherwise, taste-wise, I'm happy with it. It is not the most complex flavor profile or anything like that in the world, but it is good. Uh, I would say that it is like a standard thin crust pizza. Now, having uh, been born and raised up in New York, I have had my share of authentic New York style pizza from local pizzerias and all of that. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm some sort of pizza maestro or any of that, but uh, I've certainly had authentic instances of New York pizza. And I will say that this is Pizza Hut's fast food version of New York pizza. I could not compare this to a local establishment, but I will say that isn't any sort of attack on Pizza Hut. That goes for any sort of fast food place. There's always a distinction, no matter what it is, no matter the establishment, be that Wendy's or Burger King or McDonald's or Pizza Hut or Papa John's, you name it, there's always going to be that difference in terms of quality and execution, etc., between fast food and a local establishment, and I think we all know that. So this is the fast food version of thin crust pizza. So as I mentioned, the all right, let's just start with the pizza and the flavors and all of that. The cheese is totally fine. I could actually sense a little bit of freshness in the ingredients, which is good. 
it is greasy. It's very greasy, very oily, and originally I feared that it would be on the salty side, and of course while there is that high sodium content in this, here is the good thing that balances all of it out, the pizza sauce. The sauce in this case has both a, a bit of a, it's, it's very sweet, but that sweetness, like I said, just adds enough flavor of its own that it complements everything greatly, and it helps cancel out some of that excess oiliness and that excess greasiness and saltiness. And that sweetness, added by the sauce itself, adds to this pizza tremendously. So, definitely, the sauce is a, a huge, huge... Well, not really improvement, because there's nothing that's really been... It's just a huge uh, component here, and a very important one at that, but it's a good choice uh, that they went with the sauce that they went with, because that sweetness really adds to it. Likewise, the pepperoni contributes a little bit of spice to it as well, but nothing overwhelming, nothing that's going to make you go, oh my gosh, I need, I need some water right now, or anything like that, and uh, you're not going to have to dive under the table, get a, a jug of milk, and just start dumping it on your face and massaging it into your scalp or anything like that. It's not overwhelming, it just adds a little bit of extra, extra flavor to it. Now, the one thing that I couldn't taste all too much of, I think, treat this as like a decorative garnish, but don't uh, sit here and try to say, I'm only going to get this because of this ingredient. The Parmesan oregano seasoning on this pizza it's just not really, I can't taste too much of it. I think it kind of gets lost in all of the other flavors that this pizza has. It's just there as a decorative garnish. It looks nice, makes it look a bit more appealing, but does it contribute all that much to the flavor itself in the grand scheme of things? No, it doesn't. Finally, the crust, as you could see, very crispy. And uh, flavor-wise, only thing I could really taste with the crust is that it's very flowery. Uh, you could just taste that flour in it, and uh, that's what I could really, really taste the most. So the crust is pretty unremarkable, but it does add that structure to it. It adds that crispy crunch, so if you're looking for that texturally, then certainly look to the crust for that element. And I would say that's what really holds it all together, and that's how you're able, of course, to fold the pizza if you want to eat it that way, and it provides enough, of stru enough structure so that that could easily be accomplished. On a final note, it comes with the marinara sauce on the side. It is the same sauce that is on the pizza. So it doesn't really add all that much to it. It doesn't really change the dynamic in any way, shape, or form, but it's there, it's complimentary. If you just want to uh, add a little bit more sauce to the pizza, then of course it's there for you to dip the pizza in. And likewise, of course, if you want to dip the crust in, I would say that's probably the best way to go about it. It'll give the crust some more flavor, give it some moisture, but uh, like I said, it's just there, it comes with it. I may as well use it if you want, and I would personally recommend using it for the crust. But overall, I would say this is a pizza that tastes good. Yeah, you couldn't really compare it to the authentic uh, local pizza places up in New York or anything like that, but it's Pizza Hut's take on it. And I think for what it is, all things considered, it's a pretty good pizza. It tastes good, and uh, despite all the grease and oil, it's not overwhelming or anything like that. It's a large pizza. I'd say at a good price too, just $14 for the whole thing. So therefore, out of 10, I'm happy with it, and uh, I'd say I like it. And if it sounds good to you, then go out, get it, give it a shot, and uh, enjoy it while it's here. Therefore, out of 10, I will give the big New Yorker pizza from Pizza Hut, I'm going to give it an 8.7 out of 10. I'm a fan of it, I like it, that's all that I have for you. Until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.